When was the last time you saw Kate? Well, we hadn't seen each other f- since the day it all happened, but right. uh, it was a very brief moment about a week ago when we swapped um, children, but when the children... Is this what we saw in the papers when you were back at the house and... Yeah, but it was very brief and there was... Yeah. It was... Was that really... Was that difficult? Uh, when it's for the children, you... you you kind of get For on a with split it. second mm. there, you just don't think about anything really. Mm. You yeah. just get on with it. Mm. But, like I said, you know, in the case that they're listening... Yeah. Uh, no, I completely understand. I just that. wanted to ask one thing because I know friends who have been in a similar situation to you. Yes. Obviously not reading about themselves in the paper every day and their children and your children seeing the pictures in the paper. That must be really tough, do you think? Yeah, I, well, when I were in Cyprus with the three kids, I made sure they were n- nowhere near. Mm. And I remember my brother Mike got um, some of the papers, or he saw them uh, near the house, and he put them all in the bin mm. so that I, even I wouldn't see them. Um, and I think it's very important for kids not to see that sort of thing. And yeah, it is. It's it's a very difficult thing because kids are open to TV, they're open to radio. They do see things, but you've got to just try and keep it all to a minimum. And you know, you've always got to, you've always got to tell them. You just got to give them love and talk about love, and don't talk about anything other than love. Mm. You can't talk about the negative side of anything. What's the deal with uh, what's the deal with the film crew though? Because there's a film crew in today. Yes, would you? Yeah. Well, we. Uh, I am filming. It's yeah. not necessary. Basically, obviously, I'm being contracted for two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, as Kate was, and... This is with ITV2, is it? Well, we were... Yes and no. Let me just see how I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I had to write a few points down, because I, you That's know... That's right. Um, Basically, yeah. let, let okay, me this right. is, No, this is true, okay. actually, because when we were signed, even with ITV2, Can TV were filming it, mm, right. and then, you know, obviously ITV2, that was who would end up airing it. Yep. But I'm still filming with Can TV, but whether it ends up being with ITV2, right. I'm not Fine. sure. Is what so I'm you've, you've got a contract, you, you've got to do a certain amount of filming or whatever. And well, well, we work, we are contracted for two years, which is about another year and a bit to go, so... Right. Dude, seriously, at the, right now, well, it, there in the state you're in, I, mm. I wouldn't want cameras Can following Can I be honest around. with you, for yeah. the first five weeks, I didn't even, I, I'd hardly even talked, mm. let alone was ready to do filming and the first bit of filming was when I went to Hong Kong which was about two weeks ago so mm. so it's only just started really right. and yeah the first show my brother my brother was like dude you got to snap out of it because I was very I was very down and he said this is no good you can't film this and it was five weeks in I'm thinking you got to start snapping out of it but then you know as time's gone on I've I've moved on so it's tough though isn't it you know you're trying to you're trying to get your, yourself together and, and your emotions and stuff and, and you're having to do all this in front of a camera and when arguably the camera's involvement in all of this won't have helped where you are now you know there's got to be a certain although although <clears throat> I do think you know there's a there's a lot of time when you can have your own privacy and filming doesn't go from six in the morning Mm. till 12 at night it might be three hours in a day it's not a lot and it's no different say for example with you guys if you know heaven forbid something happened to you or your family or wife or anything Mm. like that you still have to come to work Mm. and for that certain amount of time you've got to you know yes there's a sense of reality because if you're down you've got to show you're down Mm -hmm. you can't be trying to act like you're not but you've still got to work, you know? Mm. Screw that. I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't you come to I, work? No, but the, the, with the film crew, I couldn't hack that. Yeah. Especially at the moment. Because when you're feeling like crap and the film people come and film you, you're going to, you know, look, naturally you're going to go, you're going you're gonna to put the, the mask on and kind of go out and be Mr. Party People and all of that. You know, we're inside. You're crying yeah, inside. Yeah, in a sense, though. You... I bet you're crying inside. In, in crying a sense, inside? though, you, got, you can't act look at it. Me, you... Look at me. I know you're crying inside. You, you're bringing emotion out in me. I know that. You are. I know that. I can it, see. Chris is. Uh, Chris is. Uh, um, good looking. He's got a good heart. Yeah. He's, mm. he's a good. It's hidden in there somewhere. He's, it is there. He's got a good heart. <laughs> it's hidden behind all the, uh, you know, the fat. <laughs> it's, it's in there. It's all in there. Um, do you think? Do you think living life in front of the cameras has contributed to the breakup? No, I think anyone in the industry, in any way shape or form is definitely has more pressure on them Mm. than someone that isn't in the industry only because you are subject to criticism about your relationship you're subject to you're just under 
you're just under everyone's looking at everything that you do mm. so yeah there's a sense of pressure but if I were to complain about that I shouldn't have been doing it and I shouldn't have been in it and you can still complain about it. you can you know you can still be honest about it like in hindsight look, bearing in mind I've never been to your house right but I've watched the TV show I've seen you in your house to, you know you and Katie together now I know I'm watching a TV show mm. and, and you can I know when you play up to the cameras I know when Kate plays up and there's a, t there's a little glint in your eye when you're both messing around or whatever mm. but at the end of the day you know I've seen you bickering on the telly. I've seen you two sit uncomfortable next to each other. and it, 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 So I think I have a kind of idea of what it's like living in your house, being in your shoes. Unless I've got the wrong end of the stick. No, no. And it's it, just that, you know... And it, it's, is very, uh, it is very real. There's, uh, dude, there, there, I could... Seriously. You know you know, I like Kate. We haven't, mm. I haven't seen her for a long time since we... You know, she didn't come on the show that time and blah, blah, blah. And, mm. and, but I, I, and I said the other day, I don't, I'm not going to badmouth Kate. Mm. Which is a shame, because it would make this interview way more entertaining. <laughs> but I couldn't live with her. She would drive me insane, Nia. She, oh, but she, but I, I, I bet that there must be days when you're banging your head against the walls. For every bad that somebody has, there's a lot of good. I'm not dissing her, you know I'm sure. I mean? But, and, and, you know. Uh, uh, okay. If, the, I've obviously never mentioned the reasons, but... It's not just a reason. There's, hmm. yeah. you know, you, you don't just go with one reason. It's, yeah, it's a build things up of things and what happened. Do am I am I answering it correctly? <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. Doing right. Do you know what? Do you know what it is? I appreciate the fact that you know you don't want to sit there and go. Here's the thing. She's a cow. Da, da, da. I know you don't want to do that, and I know you've got the kids and everything like that. And I'm not going to push you too hard on it because you know it's it wouldn't be fair. Do you know why? What? Because I cannot control what anyone else does. I can right. only control what I do. Mm, that's sure. that's all I can do. So as long as I control what I do, I can't either condemn or praise or or ask. I can't do that for anyone else. I can right. only do what I do. Okay. And if I focus on that, then then I think it helps me. Do you mm. think you'll ever be friends with Casey again? For the sake of my children, I very much hope so. Well, there's going to have to be a relationship, isn't there? <laughs> I mean, but... <laughs> First that answer had no written all over it. <laughs> oh, no, but, but it's not on there. <laughs> no, no, I no, it's just the way you went. <laughs> For the sake of the kids, I hope so. <laughs> That's no, not... But, right, but would you, do you want to be friends? Look, do, like, a year down the line, you know, would you like to be in a position where you go, Kate, look, I know it didn't work out, but, you know, we've got so we've got the kids and all that. We're pals. Would you? Can you see that happening? Absolutely. Good. All right. And do you know what? There's been people. I, I don't know. There's some people that hold grudges and some people that don't. I've had mates that have, well, that are mates now, that years ago said a lot of bad things about me, and years later, when you, you know you're doing all right in life and everything's okay, mm -hmm. I see them. I'm like. Can we just forget that? It's, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. No. I don't hold grudges. No, you're too nice. I do. But like so many... Oh, seriously. So yeah. does Dave. No. By the way, listen. You should, Dave's good. Dave's been divorced, right? He, he'd be there for you. He mm. can tell you I'm what. on marriage number two already. Oh, yeah. Seriously. He goes, he, number two. He goes through marriages well. like I go through pies. Mm. So <laughs> he can help you out. He'll tell you. Dave, we'll talk. <laughs> no, I was, I was going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always here for you. You can give him advice. Exactly. I got divorced online. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I can give you the okay, website. Okay, that was that, that sounds a bit weird. What happened? Well, you don't want to talk about it. I don't know. It was fine. It's I didn't know you now. did it online. Yeah, yeah, it's online. online. Divorce online is like a drive-through service. Seriously? Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's fine. There you go, Mr. Andre. But Have you see with... how casual he is about it now. But at the time, it was horrible. Um, yeah. Oh, he was. But he was a nightmare. But you know what I was going to say? So going back to what Chris was saying before about the fact that you know, will you ever be friends? The fact of the matter is that you, like so many other people in the same situation where marriages go wrong and there's kids involved, you have to maintain a relationship because of the kids. If there's no kids, you can actually go, right, that's it, and you can actually walk away and never speak to that person again for the rest of your life. But when there's kids involved, as you have, you have to maintain some civil... And, and that's going to be tough. You have to, yeah. yeah children, but that's, but you, they, you know, can't be, they can't know what's going on. They can't feel what's going on. But that's with you for the rest of your life, you yeah. know? You're always going to have the kids. So mm. that's a, the tricky bit. And, and I, in many ways, I was fortunate that when, when I got divorced, there was no kids involved. So we didn't have that complexity. I'm not going to lie. I'm gutted. Yeah, of course, mm. you know? But... That's what, that you're good at that Dave got divorced? That, Dave, that Dave's on his second marriage. Oh, it's fine. Everyone's happy now. Online? Yeah. 
Didn't know that. Hmm. So listen, save yourself a bit of money. Dave will give you the web address. Hmm. You can do it online. It's a form.